it's Dustin with TechMD coming at you with another iPhone. This one has broken back glass and we're going to be doing glass separation. So first, you're going to need to start your heater. I just run it at 240 maximum degrees, get it nice and toasty. It actually helps loosen up the glass and makes it easier for me to fix. I find this easier than doing a laser machine and much quicker. And I'm gonna show you techniques if you're a repair shop how to uh, do this repair um, a little bit faster and also you're going to need a few other things. Um, a couple of these tools here as well as some glasses to protect your eyes from flying glass, some cold pressed glue, and you'll see all the rest of the tools, some alcohol. Um, I don't really use the glue remover too much. Don't really need to, but sometimes there's leftover residue and I'll, I'll use it. You'll need also a glass breaker if your glass is not broken very much. And some gloves to handle the device because it's going to be hot. I put it on there for about five minutes to make it smoking hot and easier. But either way, use a glass breaker if you need to. They kind of look like this. And um, the idea is just to break the glass where you need to, which we'll be doing that over here in a little bit. So I'm gonna put my gloves on to protect myself from heat. I'm gonna turn on the heat at 450 degrees Celsius with that kind of a narrow nozzle. And uh, I put the airflow at 50 degrees and then fume extractor at 85 if you're going to use the glue remover. This should be fairly easy to get in and out of the phone if you've already warmed it up or in and out of the broken glass. Just comes out very easy as you can see. Now there's a battery right under here that's all exposed. There's magnets right here, so just be careful with that. Try to leave them sitting there. They love to attach to metal tools. There's also these magnets. Try to keep them sitting down. If not, you have to manually put them back. So get that why it's hot and toasty. All these blades and tools can be found at Andrew Gadgets, and I'll try to link some stuff on Amazon as well. But you need quite a bit of tools to do this repair properly. And I'd recommend trying it out on an old iPhone 8 before attempting a more expensive phone such as this. some loose cables there. Just be careful not to put too much heat in there. You just don't want to focus on one area more than I'd say three seconds with the heat. Also I'm just removing the glue with this flat blade here and try not to remove any of the plastic. It's not that bad if you do though. You want to be careful with the heat around the battery. The battery is fairly exposed.
for whatever reason this uh, glass right here is being a little stubborn so I am going to use a little bit of glue remover. Some of the magnets come along, just set that aside, you can reapply them after. Be careful not to poke the battery right there, it will light on fire if you do. magnets came up, not a problem. Let's see if I can get this here without that's some really stubborn glass. It was really shattered so it was not coming loose. These antennas underneath here, the number one complaint I hear on the forums, people breaking them. You'll lose service if you break these antennas. If your small glass breaker doesn't work, like mine hasn't been working for a while now, I don't know why. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. I don't recommend the bigger one unless you're trying to break out the camera lenses. And your camera should not be in there if you're doing that. this thing as cracked as possible and make your life very easy. At least that's what I've discovered.
Okay, so next step is you're gonna get captain's tape and we're gonna cover the camera lenses and the, this thing here, the flash, <laughs> jeez. Um, it's not super critical if you melt it a little bit, but if you get it too hot, it's going to disconnect and desolder and life will be very miserable for you to replace those. So I would highly recommend protecting it. That's why I ch just try to break it out if I can, because then I don't even have to worry about it anymore. Captain's tape is a heat resistant tape up to a certain point and then it's not going to protect you 100% so you still got to be careful when it comes to the heat. I've, I've, uh, I've damaged the camera one time before doing heat without it covered and life is pretty miserable. Even with the tape, I still can damage this. It's pretty difficult not to, but the other option is a laser machine. And those are expensive and I don't really want to have a laser machine, nor do I have the room for it. And this is fairly easy. Okay, so we're gonna Use that glue remover one time more since it is all cracked up for us. Oh, I forgot to mention one kind of glue remover. You can find these at IG, but it's TL-ME-T5111-100 milliliters is it. The glue I use. Sometimes the um, rings around the camera fall off, just replace them. You should have uh, some in stock if you are doing this. I take the glue off of the 5G antennas very carefully. 
because it might have some glass shards and then I just use T7000 to re-glue it. There's no glass shards underneath anywhere. They need to be all out so that the way the new screen, new back glass will fit on properly. You don't need very much heat to remove the glue. Okay, next we're gonna take a little 99% isopropyl alcohol and clean things. If you have excess glue, use the glue remover or use some heat and that should also help. I always lose that piece because I forget about it. It falls off, it flies off. It's very annoying. Careful with these antennas. Just want to make sure there was no glue underneath. This time we're in luck. If I don't find it within Two minutes, I give up. But I did find it. That's always a good thing. Makes it look better. And now that you've successfully removed most of the glue off of your phone or back glass here, just making sure we got it looking good. I don't want this excess plastic sitting up either. Rag takes care of glass shards, really. Doesn't have to be absolute perfect, but better you can get to it, or the cleaner you can get it, the um, more smoother of a seal you're going to get. Now if you put your back glass on, your frame is bent, you're going to have to replace that whole frame, unfortunately. Alright, so we want to put the magnets back on where they belonged. Preferably. And everything's really glued down, so I use T7000 to keep these little magnets to behave. 
But overall, they're just a pain to get them to sit just perfect. Here I am, finding another glass shard. That's why it's important to really look. I'm going to start with this one first. Press it down. Get them upside down, they're not gonna sit right and they'll try to reverse polarities and all kinds of fun stuff. So just get the right side on there. <sighs> These are actually stuck to the glass, so I think I had them backwards. Thinking about it. I think they're all identical, so it's not super critical that they go in the same position. Okay, now that that's removed, we can start putting on our cold press glue. <clears throat> I have disposable tips. I've tried reusing them and it ruined the glue gun, the glue. So don't do that. Make sure this lid gets back on every time and they are disposable one time use. Unless you are literally doing another back glass at the same time, which then I'd recommend doing as many phones as you can in one shot. But my services are all rendered in one hour or less so it's rare that I get to do that opportunity. They're very cheap, so nothing to complain about. Just trying to be as environmentally friendly as possible in this job. I even recycle my microfiber tags by, or rags by washing them. Thank you. 
Let's put some T7000 on some antennas here. Just around. A module here. And a little bit here. Looks like I missed one spot for cleaning. That's some glass shards, maybe. here before this glue dries up press down and seal just be careful not to press too hard now if your um, light here is not cooperating what you can do is pull back a little bit here get it in that way but overall sometimes they melt really good like mine did here just gotta warm it up just a tiny bit watch your hands really hot. You don't want to really poke at it too much while it's warm. Because it is soft and that was the goal is to mold it in to your back frame here. I'll never be perfect again. But it's really hard to get that perfect back there. Without a laser machine. But no one really complains. That was a little bit more melted than I wanted to. I should have covered it a little bit better. That's probably why it did it. Okay, so now if you want the customer to go ahead and go, I just tell them to leave the packing tape on for, um, till morning time or 24 hours, whatever you want to say. And then just try not to cover the speaker holes. As you can see, overheating message. That means I did good. I did decide to turn on because the clamp will do that. And you gotta really watch your glass shards. I could have been scratching up her phone for all I know. So I should clean her area. That was my bad. I should have done that. Just use a roll of tape like this. It's really good. Um, sometimes you need to do tops and edges and at that point you can just cut out a hole for the ear speaker or microphone or loudspeaker but, and just cut it like that. And so you want good pressure should pull down really tightly and then tape down and then just do the other side all the way up to the volume. That was a little too high, too much tape. Clearly.
that's it guys clean your rear camera lens and you're set well please like and subscribe and more detailed videos coming in the future thanks for watching guys have a good one Thank you.